Hey there, it's Steve here at the DJ Lab, and today I'm looking at the Denon DJ SC6000 Prime, and this video is about my wish list of things I'm hoping the development team can add and change to the firmware and um, make a few changes that are going to just help everybody out. So let me get right into it. I'm going to make this video short and sweet as possible. Here we are in the what they call the shortcuts. Well, in the shortcuts, I only have two things, right? What I'm hoping for, because we have all this extra space, would be to add a plus button right here, open up some sub menus and allow me to add whatever I want in this space because once again, it is a shortcut. So why does it not be a shortcut to the things that I would like it to be? For instance, Ableton Link. Maybe I want to have an Ableton link right there. Maybe I want my engine light in there. Maybe I want to be able to, for instance, you know, change my deck colors. Maybe I want the deck color set in right there as well too. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We all DJ differently and there should be no reason why we can't customize this screen because computers, we customize our desktop. On our phones, we customize our home screens. Everything's customizable. It is the year 2021. We're going into 2022. Time to step things up and allow me to add what I want and everyone else. That would be wonderful. Gonna look at one other thing. Well, we're gonna look at a couple other things, but I'm not gonna make this too long at all. You see here, I can go in and I can create a playlist, right? But the thing I can't do is when I'm making a prepare list, right? From my prepare list, I cannot go in there and take the prepare list and make that, my prepare list a playlist. So one other little button, just like you have over here in the prepare, so I can do that and that would be wonderful. The reason that would be useful is because here I may want to preview my songs and say, okay, I like that, I like that, I like that, and I want to quickly turn that into a playlist. Well, from here, I can't do that because even if I do select this, okay, I like that song and I go back and listen to something else, when I jump back in, it's deselected. It doesn't remember it. So I can't, the workflow is not good. There's not enough space here at the moment in order for me to just select that and listen to it while I'm in my create a playlist screen. But that's why we have a prepare list. CDJ 3000 can do it. So there's no reason why we can't do it here on the Denon. Just have the little create the playlist there, be able to name it, and we're golden. Another thing I would like you see right here when we go into the key, when we're changing the keys, and I can go up and I can go down, put a little box there, and let me hit right there to do the reset. You know why? We have a button on the player, a reset button, that the key button, there's really no good use for that button. We don't really need it there, to be honest, because as soon as I hit that, now I'm back out. And guess what? And then when I try to do that again, to go back in, I can't until I hit the button again, and then I can go in there. You see how that works? On a CDJ 3000, I don't like to make the comparisons all the time because the Denon DJ gear, in my opinion, is superior in features. This is why it's funny how there's some things that are lacking. Just put a box, make that a reset, because if I want to do some crazy tricks where I'm like playing things musically with keys going up and down and resets and stuff. I can do that. Uh, what else do we need here that I was thinking? Um, of course, we all, we've all been asking for the fact that we want to see the waveform from deck one on the this deck here, vice versa, so we can mix the way that we're all used to mixing from using software and controllers over the years. CDJ3000 can do it. Once again, we have this Denon engine uh, connect stuff. I don't see why it's not share that information over. I don't know if that's some kind of downfall of engine connect, if there's a reason why it can't do it at this point, but 
We'll see if that's something on the horizon. Um, another thing I wish we had, RGB waveforms. Lots of people have asked for it. I'm not a fan personally of all the, the green stuff on the Denon products. It reminds me way too much of the Roland Aria stuff. And I like the Aria products. I just never really liked that whole green trim that they put on it. It kind of cheapened the whole look of things. Made it look a bit like a toy. But the waveform, it's usable, it's nice. Make it RGB, make it even grayscale like that X-ray look that we're used to from Tractor back in the day. Um, anything but the green. The green and the blue, I just don't care for it. And I know a lot of other users don't like it either. Um, and just as I'm thinking about it here and I'm looking, even for my rules, it would be nice if I could customize because honestly, some of these rules in here, I don't ever use like, and if I, concerned they're not labeled on the pads, which is great. If I could go in there and edit that stuff to my liking, that would be really, really cool too. Um, can't think of anything else off the top of my head that would, uh, I would hope for. So yeah, that's everything. If you have any comments about stuff, feel free to throw some comments below. Um, hopefully the development team does see this video. I'm sure they probably will. And at least let us know if you can do it, why you might not be able to do it, and hopefully something you can do sooner than later because I don't really want to have to wait two years before these things become perfect. They're so close. It's just a little bit more work and everything's going to be really cool and we're going to be able to laugh at the Pioneer fanboys. Anyways, that's it for me. I will talk to you all soon. And try not to shake the camera too much next time.